uh, so my brother figured out actually that you could take a uh, broken two channel, I'm oh, sorry, uh, infrared indoor RC helicopter, and when it breaks, which they're bound to break because they're a toy, um, you just take out the electronics and put it on a piece of foam board with some old uh, quadcopter propellers, toy quadcopter spare propellers, and you take out, you just skip all the gears and all that, direct drive. And I added this fiberglass rod so it can uh, not warp the foam board when it crashes. I cut a hole for the infrared. Uh, and we have a nice two channel indoor plane. So after a bit of tinkering, I actually found that this design works far better as far as slow flying for indoors, and it's far more stable, especially when you turn. It doesn't bank and crash if you turn sharply while going fast. So this is, I don't know if you can see, but it's about 30 inches or a little bit under 30 inches wingspan, counting the uh, winglets folded up, and about 7 inches from here to here. And this is my newer design. I did have to bend back down this back edge because otherwise it was stalling too much. But I find this actually works far better. What I did was I cut out a piece of foam board and then I peeled off the top half of the of paper, left the paper on the bottom, and folded up these winglets here and that makes it far more stable. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I've tested this out, it does not work outdoors just because it's infrared. However, it does work indoors or at night if you have uh, infrared enough light. Thanks for watching.